We all know that our universe is incredibly huge and is already a respectable 13.8 billion years old. Let's take a look at our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Scientists estimate that it contains about 100 billion stars. And if we look further, the number of galaxies in the observable universe is in the trillions. Imagine the universe as a huge stadium with billions of spectators. Each spectator in this cosmic stadium symbolizes some planet or star. In the scale of the whole stadium, our planet Earth is just one single spectator somewhere at the very top. And the entire recorded history of mankind would fit into a tiny fraction of a second. This illustrates just how small a role humanity plays in the universe. We are but a grain of sand in this gigantic cosmos filled with billions of galaxies, stars, and planets. And somewhere out there may be another intelligent civilization that we will someday contact. Accordingly, with so many stars and galaxies, the total number of stars in the universe could be as high as 10 to the 24th power. That's a number with 100 quintillion zeros after one. At the same time, the universe does not stand still, but continues to expand faster and faster thanks to a mysterious force that scientists have called dark energy. This accelerated growth of the universe was discovered by astronomers in the late 1990s and has not been fully explained by modern science. The colossal scale and diversity of the universe suggests, what if we are not alone in this vast cosmos? Could there be other forms of life and even intelligence somewhere out there, on distant planets near other stars? Statistically, given the simply astronomical number of stars, about 10 to the 24th degree, the probability of extraterrestrial civilizations is extremely high. After all, even if we assume that only a small percentage of stars have planets suitable for the origin of life, still the potential number of inhabited worlds is in the billions. To assess the possible level of development of hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations, astronomer Nikolai Kardashev proposed a special classification, the so-called Kardashev scale. It allows us to divide civilizations by technological power into three main types. This scale is important for understanding the stages of development of intelligent life and search for civilizations by the level of energy they use. It also gives us a reference point to assess humanity's own place among the possible inhabitants of the universe. Type 1 civilizations use the resources of their home planet. This means that the society can use all the energy of wind, tides, geothermal energy of the subsoil, sunlight, etc. In essence, the entire planet becomes the unified energy system of such a civilization. This energy is used to power their cities, transportation, and industry. We ourselves are still at the 0.7 stage on this scale. This means that we use only a fraction of the Earth's potential energy, about 15 terawatts out of the 22 available to us. Type 2 civilizations use the power of their entire star system. They are able to harness the power of the central star and its surrounding planets and satellites. For example, they can build huge solar power plants that wrap the star in light concentrating panels, or harness the thermonuclear energy of the planet's interior. Thus, the entire stellar system becomes a single energy infrastructure for such a civilization. So Type II civilizations can colonize their entire galaxy and explore others. And Type III civilizations, the whole galaxy. This civilization can use the energy of the entire observable universe. This means that such a civilization must be able to control and use the energy of all the stars in our galaxy, as well as the energies of all the other galaxies in the observable universe then they would be able to control weather, climate, and even the evolution of life, easily traveled between stars and galaxies at incredible speeds. However, if technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilizations do exist, a reasonable question arises, why have we not yet detected any signs of their presence? This problem is called the Fermi Paradox. Perhaps the explanation is the vast cosmic distances, because of which signals from other civilizations have not yet reached us. Or maybe our search technology is not yet advanced enough. Or perhaps intelligent races prefer not to make their presence known. Whatever the case, we continue our search for our galactic neighbors. Mankind continues to actively explore space, sending more and more automatic stations. These interplanetary travelers are our eyes, ears, and hands reaching out into the vast ocean of stars. The orbiting Hubble telescope has been sharing marvelous photographs with us for more than 30 years, peering billions of years into the depths of the universe. And its successor, its most powerful telescope, the James Webb Telescope, with its giant 6.5-meter mirror, was just recently able to photograph the most distant galaxy ever seen. 
the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes swept past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune and rushed past the boundaries of the solar system. They are now 15 billion kilometers away from Earth, and their younger counterpart, the New Horizons probe, reached Pluto in 2015 and became the first man-made object to approach this planet and unlock the mysteries of this icy world hovering at the very edge of the solar system. Our nearest neighbor in the solar system, Mars, has long intrigued scientists. The landscape of this planet with traces of dried up rivers and lakes suggests that a global catastrophe occurred in the past, depriving Mars of atmosphere and water. Real robotic geologists, the rover's curiosity and perseverance, have been working on Mars for several years. They are looking for traces of ancient life on the red planet, analyzing the composition of Martian rocks. Curiosity has found evidence that there was once water on Mars. Also working on Mars is the rover Perseverance rover. It will deliver samples of Martian soil to Earth to be analyzed by scientists. However, there is an assumption that in ancient times on Mars flowed water in liquid form. For example, this is confirmed by traces of erosion on the rocks, which could only be left by rivers, or deposits of sedimentary rocks formed underwater. In addition, methane is periodically recorded in the atmosphere of Mars, and the appearance of this gas may be a byproduct of microorganisms under the surface. Another curious fact, seasonal changes in parts of the Martian surface. Some scientists explain this by the possible emission of gases by living organisms. To unravel the mysteries of Mars, a human mission to the Red Planet is planned for the 2030s. Perhaps it will be the astronauts who will find irrefutable evidence for the existence of Martian life, if it ever originated. And our natural satellite, the Moon, was explored by two lunar rovers that traveled dozens of kilometers, miles, across the lunar surface. All these discoveries are often made together. For example, the International Space Station is the fruit of international cooperation. And from its board, astronauts and cosmonauts prepare for new projects, flights to the Moon and Mars. But one of the most intriguing goals of space missions is the search for signs of life beyond Earth. Jupiter's icy satellite Europa is considered a particularly promising place for this. In 2024, there will go their automatic interplanetary station Europa Clipper. Its main task to find out whether there are on Europa suitable conditions for the origin and maintenance of life. The fact is that under the thick layer of ice on this satellite, perhaps hides a giant ocean of liquid water. And where there's water, there could be life. Europa Clipper will study the composition and structure of Europa's icy crust. It will also analyze ocean water for organic matter. In addition, the probe will study the geologic activity of the satellite's surface. All of this will help determine whether Europa has a suitable environment for the development of microorganisms. So this icy moon is one of the most promising places in the solar system to look for extraterrestrial life. Let's dream, what if we are not alone in this amazing cosmos? What if there are other worlds and beings like us just around the corner? For more than half a century, scientists have been trying to find the answer to this question by searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. As part of the SETI program since the 1960s, various radio telescopes, including the famous radio antenna in the Tonka Valley with a diameter of 70 meters, 229.66 feet, they continuously scan the cosmos at different frequencies, trying to pick up artificial radio signals from possible inhabitants of distant star systems. In 2015, a new large-scale project Breakthrough Listen was launched with a budget of $100 million. It was initiated by renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. This project also uses a network of radio telescopes around the world to search for signals. In addition, there are optical observations of laser pulses, short bursts of lasers that could theoretically be used for interstellar communication. Powerful artificial intelligence algorithms are used to analyze all the data collected. The search for signals from extraterrestrial civilizations is extremely difficult, but extremely important. After all, this is a chance to answer the fundamental question, is there other life in the universe? And we must not miss this chance. First of all, the scale and structure of the universe is truly mind-boggling. Modern telescopes allow us to look billions of light years into space, discovering more and more galaxies and stars. Secondly, there is a high probability that somewhere among this multitude of worlds, other life, perhaps even intelligent life, could have originated. The search for extraterrestrial civilizations has been going on for more than half a century, and there is hope for success. 
Third, in the coming decades there will be a chance to find traces of life or even simple organisms on Mars and satellites of planets in the solar system, such as Europa. This would be a breakthrough in understanding the uniqueness or, conversely, the ordinariness of the origin of life in the universe. So space exploration promises many more fantastic discoveries and exciting mysteries. But the big question, is there other life in the universe? is still open.